What's up and good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. It feels awesome being back in the BBB. No lights are on. Man, am I grateful that it was just something stupid and little like that broken wire and that this truck is not down for the count because we're running a little low on trucks around here. So today we're back over at the warehouse. We've got Alex here in his truck. What's up, bro? What's going on? How are you? Dude, I always forget how big this thing is until I see it in person again. Woo! So the main reason Alex came over today is because he wants one of the new Work Ford American flag decals on the back window. So we're going to put one on. But I figured since he's got his truck here, we have never had a solid axle truck up on our flex ramp. And well, we got a solid axle truck here. He's trying to break it. He looks a little nervous. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I see everyone get up and they're like, oh, I feel like it's teetering. I don't know if I'm going to be comfortable with that, but nah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Your truck should be able to flex out better than our truck. Should. I don't know. We should. should. We'll, we'll see. But yeah, give us a walk around of your truck because I know it's been a long time since we've actually done a walk around on the channel. So for the new people, give okay. us a little walk yeah, around. Definitely. What do we got? I got a eight inch lift. I'm not gonna name the company, but I got an eight inch lift uh, with a two inch spacer in the front. Uh, running 22 by 10 American Force. Um, got Patriot tires on there, 40s by 15.5. Do you like your Patriot tires? I actually don't know. I love my tires, man. Um, I've had them on now for right around 26, 27,000 miles. They have decent tread. I mean, I've used them snow. Uh, Sand, Glamis, Dumont, uh, Big Bear off-roading. So it's, I mean, they've worked out for me real good. And I daily the truck too. So it's, it's worked out real good for me so far. Nice. I uh, got the true spikes on there, obviously, like everyone else in the truck world, right? <laughs> it's like, I feel like you can't, uh, you can't get a truck without the tree spikes now. Got the Gen Y hitch with the bolt locked in the rear. Dual three gallon tanks with a train horn, uh, onboard air. What, uh, what are we running? Is that a horn blaster setup or is that a? No, no, it's just a standard triple trumpet, nothing. No horn blaster on here. Did you make that bracket? Yeah. So, obviously, Hopo suspension. Give us a little walk. I mean, you guys do all kinds. Of, I know I know you didn't do the suspension on here, but you've made some parts for the truck. But what do you guys do over at Hopo's? Uh, we do strictly hydraulic air suspension. So we do, we manufacture all the product for hydraulic. Um, so we do low riders pretty much. That's the easiest way to put it. Um, been open for 30 years. Uh, so it just completely opposite of what i have here as my daily and people always kind of give me crap for it and like hey where's the low rider at that i do have it's put away it's my long-term build this is you know my fun my, my right now build but i'm all over the board on builds and stuff and, and what i like i'm i mean i got a rat rod i got an impala i got a uh 01 silverado i got this one so i'm i'm literally all over the place nice well you can never have enough vehicles you can't well my girlfriend thinks opposite but yeah <laughs> that's why she shouldn't catch feelings bro. yeah she shouldn't don't catch feelings yeah. you built the roof rack right yeah i did the roof rack um this is kind of showcasing some of the stuff that they do all cnc we yeah gotta... we do a lot of cnc work we got a total of 11 cncs in in-house uh so we have cnc plasma cutter tube bender stuff like that but um yeah i was seeing a lot of roof racks out there uh, like probably about a year ago in SEMA, where you know razor rack was coming out and they're all over the place in SEMA. right i'm like i, I like that look but i just didn't want to have the same thing as everyone else so i just you know, built something myself that way i can incorporate you know the same style throughout the whole build eventually haven't yeah. got that far yet but well i noticed we got uh one rock slider <laughs> on the uh other side of the truck you weren't supposed to show that but yeah well i mean listen you're in good company because i like completely debadged and detrimmed one side of my ford back in the day the other side still had it all on it yeah so but, i test fitted it on here and then i was debating i didn't know if i want to do lollipop red on the whole thing or white with red accents so i put one on <laughs> and then i didn't want to spend the money on powder coat so i'm like you know what spray paint it real quick put it on there test fit it if i like it after a few weeks or you know i didn't want it to grow on me i wanted to like it as soon as i saw it right so i put it on there and it's been like three months now well, what's what's the verdict <laughs> i actually like the red or the white i like i like it the way you did it. i like it like this too yeah, yeah. and it is cr what are, are those like 10 foot how long are those uh those are i believe it was a 11 feet 8 inches total Jeez. yeah because everyone all the other ones they were like only cab right and i felt like it, was, it looked awkward for the back side yeah yeah, yeah. so i want to do a full side one it's crazy how long this is yeah. <laughs> all right you ready let's pull the ramp out all right, let's do it. Let's break. Let's see what we can break. Let's break it. You guys got to hold it here, right? Uh, no. You can see the old marks. Our patent pending removable ramp system. There go, easy peasy. And because we're all about safety around here, you know, we'll uh, clamp this booger on the bottom. All right, buddy, we're ready for you. All right, let's break something. I have a feeling his truck being solid axle is just about to crap on all of our trucks. He did just make a new sway bar setup for it that uh, I think his old one broke, so 
he was nervous yesterday when I told him I wanted to put him on the flex ramp. So he actually tested his truck with a forklift over at their shop. So I think it's cheating just a little bit, but we'll see how it does on this ramp. So stay a little wider, because when you go up, it'll start to bring you over. Yeah, you should be good right there. Four-wheel drive usually helps too. Uh-oh. Woo! It wasn't so bad, okay. I thought that was gonna be a <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean we're on the ground, but we're like barely on the ground, I think, in the back. <laughs> How's that BDS suspension holding up? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no comment, no, no comment, no comment. Yeah, it's definitely a different ball game when you got a solid axle truck in terms of flexing versus our, uh, you know, independent front suspension. The one thing though I know, if I have removable front sway bar links, because my front sway bar is so stiff, that I, the reason I don't pull it up on the front is for that, it scares the crap out of me. <laughs> oh, so I know if I had removable front sway bar links, I could actually get some more articulation out of the front of the truck. So then the one thing that his truck does that my truck does also is obviously the bumper being tied to the frame. And the, the body being separate is where you start to see the gaps get different right there. So he's got the bigger gap over there, tighter over there. My truck does the exact same thing. I think Chris's does it too. They, they all end up doing it. So that's the one thing I don't like about putting a truck on a ramp at a show is it starts to make your bumper gaps look like you didn't care or didn't know what you were doing. But that's just the nature of the beast being that they're tied independently. Oh, it looks like we got snow 6-0 coming. Up. Get over here. Get over here. So I've been trying to get snow on the flex ramp for a long time. Another solid axle truck. He's got a 6-0. He's been avoiding it. There's no avoiding the ramp today, buddy. We gotta put your truck up there. Especially because you're wearing a Sinister Diesel shirt. I wore it to change my oil. In red. Hold on, in red? Yeah. Is that Sinister no, Red? No Sinister Blue here. No, no Sinister Blue? Well, Alex uh, tested the ramp out. He says it's ready for you. That's so fucking big, though. You got this, dude. No, Solid wait, axle, Ford. I can't get the truck. You're, you're lower to the ground. Yeah. He's already at a 10 inch disadvantage. We throwing it on there? Yeah, we're throwing it on there. All right. You're good. All right, let's see what the old 6 0 has got. Easy guy. <laughs> Stay on this side. See if he'll do it in two wheel. Yeah, you gotta put in four wheel drive. Is this thing four wheel drive? Of course it is. Yeah, but I think uh, we're off the ground there, buddy. This is bad. I also don't know if your airbag is appreciating this right now, but... We got passenger side front tire. Yeah, we did, uh... We heated up your tire a little bit there. Do you feel accomplished? I felt scared. It's a little scary, huh? It's scary as fuck. Hey, so, uh, Brian's trying to keep up with the mustache. I just trimmed mine. Oh, oh, a little late to the party, but we got Wes. That is a nice looking sweatshirt, dude. Thank you. Nice. So we've got the hardest working man on the channel over here, graciously cleaning up the shop while the rest of the guys, uh, Bryant was cleaning for a minute. Uh, uh, Snow and Chris are just standing there chatting it up. I'm not sure exactly what they're doing. Dang, Wes is even going through my electrical box oh, and cleaning it up? Yeah, I think dude. it's mixed by now. Hold on, are we rocking a Fury shirt? Does that mean uh, almost the official sponsor of a... Uh, I don't know, man. I do need some 37, 14 and a half, 26s from my new, uh, my new uh, wheels that I'm gonna order. So Fury, if you're listening. Yeah, Fury. I know. I saw you comment on uh, one of them videos. So while they've been in here, we got uh, Alex's truck hooked up with one of the new American Flag Work Fort decals. I love the look of these decals. They came out so sick. And then Brian's here. Um, Brian, I'll let him announce kind of what his project is for this truck. I don't think we've announced it on the channel yet. But we've got Jake coming down. Jake has the L5P that 
Um, he was getting his bumpers painted up at the shop that is doing uh, my Ford. So he actually got that bumper installed. He's on his way down here today. We're gonna check out the bumper on his truck and then kind of him and Bryant are collaborating. So we'll kind of give you guys a little, a little tune in as to what's going on there. We've got some UFC going on upstairs in the, uh, the podcast studio. So we're just kind of having a nice weekend, you know? Dang, Wes, now they're circling you, watching you work? What, yeah, is, what is going on? Is this a bunch of supervisors? I guess. Dang. Let's get you on the ramp. Come on. So Jake just showed up. We're putting everybody on the ramp today with this beautiful L5P. What's up, dude? Right. We're putting you on the ramp. You ready? Let's do it. What's that ticking I'm hearing? Duramax typewriter tick. It, that much? It's like air in the oil or something like that. Really? IFS trucks. Here you go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. So the reason Jake came down today, uh, number one, was to put his truck on the ramp. I don't think he really expected that, but no, everybody that showed up today, we're making him go on the <laughs> ramp, is uh, Brian's going to be doing a little little conversion on his Just truck. a little right? conversion. Jake, obviously, is now running his flog bumper, which looks beautiful, by the way, on his truck. So being that he's swapping out some front-end components, what's going to end up happening, Brian wants to do a 2500 uh, conversion onto his 1500, which is parked right over there. Why do you want to do that, buddy? I don't know. Just switch it up a little bit. So, in being that, he needs a lot of 2,500 parts. So, uh, he's already got. What else have we got from him already? He already got. Well, parts. I get the. I get his his chrome grill. And then he's gonna be taking his factory bumper. And then all you need what is headlights, hood. Yeah, I have uh, the Alpha Rex headlights coming. They uh, kind of hooked me up a little bit. Then the uh, the hood should be at the dealership. Well, it's supposed to be there Thursday, so hopefully this week. So really, you have all the parts. You just need to get them color matched and yep. pretty much ready to go. Yeah, it should bolt right up with. You just have to change like the the springs and the the 2500 um, hood latch, and that's about it, I think. That's pretty easy. Yeah. So stay tuned for that if you guys want to see what a 1500 looks like with the whole 2500 front end on it, and then. Uh, you know, Wes already said he's not doing it, but maybe we'll like bolt some parts on here if we get bored. Yeah. Oh. Well, I don't. I don't think it's too bad to bolt up anyway. I know that you have to change the the horns out. Uh, I I don't know if you have to weld it or they bolt right up, but uh, to get the twenty five hundred. Oh, uh, the uh, mounting brackets. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, we uh, we're watching some UFC upstairs, but apparently now uh, Wes has lined himself up a street race, legal street race, fully uh, sanctioned. How much money we got on it? Hey, how much money we got on it? I don't know. What are you putting on it? About 300. Uh, that's a random number. So Wes's truck has been uh, idling out front of the building for like an hour. I guess getting it warmed up. We'll see. Wes is doing some practice runs. What's up, bro? How about how about that time? Why, this, why, why, the, why are you bringing the I don't with know, you, bro? man. I don't know. All right, what do we got? Give us a walk around. We got a, what, a 2019? 2019. 2019. Give us a walk around, dude. 1500. It's all stock right now as far as the engine, but I got a six inch BDS uh, Fox shocks in the rear. They haven't came out with the coil overs, so, you know. Gotcha. Once, those, once, gotcha. once those come out, then we'll do coil overs. I need, a, I need a flashlight here to light this thing up. Let's see. Don't mind the CHP coming down the street over there. Yeah, don't even worry about it. <laughs> I traded out the rear blocks from BDS for rough, rough Country because they got those fabricated blocks, yeah. so they were able to get powder coated and look nicer than you know right. the regular nasty looking blocks. The whole front end. Oh, all the, all the, Can we just talk about the the work for decal on there? Looking good, dude. Looking good. The front's all powder coated white. Also, we got 22 inch RVP uh, 81 R Saharas. Nice, nice. So we've got uh, uh, the cops down there circling right now. Oh, well, I don't know how much better we're getting. Now we got a uh, two CHP out here. A lot of them change over to Just keep in mind that this is completely stock, bro. <laughs> hey, you That no. is true. So, so hey, no. he, he called Wes <laughs> out. He, he was, he was calling for a race for Wes. The reason why is because every time I, I've ever seen him on the channel, if anybody calls, he's like, anybody, anybody call me, I'm there. So I was like, you know what? Yeah, it's, uh, a, it's a Saturday night. Yeah, yeah. Like, we got nothing better to do. Uh-oh. All right. Things are getting real. We're going to be over here at the uh, finish line, which is the 
fire hydrant. There'll be a whole lot of tire spinning going on. Well, Wes took that one by a pretty decent round there. But keep in mind, we are talking a stock 2019 other than exhaust. We got to do a post-race interview. What happened? Post-race interview? Bro, <laughs> nothing happened. That truck's fast, that's all. Well, uh, it's all good. I heard these things are tunable now. Yeah, they just, uh, SEMA just released that HP tuner. Uh-oh. All so, right. Well, I think uh, Wes won't see if you want to race uh, Bryant now. We can do it. Bryant's tuned for E85, but he's only running 91 right now. So better gas mileage. Better gas mileage. 30 horsepower 20, 25 maybe. All right, I guess we got a false start. Round two. Try again. Oh, 2019 took it. What's that? But Brian's 5.3 keeps up. I bet run E85. Go get some E85 and then we'll cycle it through for an hour. Well, I think our excitement is done for the night. So with that, guys, we're going to wrap up this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that you do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out WorkForitApparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you got to be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. I'm out. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.